Movies you didn't know were filmed in North Carolina. When you think of places where all the movie magic happens, you probably think of the movie churning hubs like the iconic Hollywood, California, or Georgia. Maybe you even think of other countries like New Zealand, where scenes from The Lord of the Rings and The Hobbit were filmed, or the UK where the legendary Harry Potter series took place. One thing we may not think of when it comes to films is North Carolina. Now you may not think that Tar Heel State is synonymous with blockbuster movies, but North Carolina has been churning out hits for years now. From The Hunger Games to Forrest Gump, North Carolina has been the setting for our nightmares and our most favorite moments in these films. So let's get into some of your favorite movies filmed in the state of North Carolina. But before we start this video, don't forget to click the like button and subscribe to our channel. Let's start at number 6 with Forrest Gump. While it was mostly filmed in North Carolina's sister state of South Carolina, and the famous bench scene was shot in Savannah, Georgia, some of this iconic movie scene was actually recorded at Grandfather Mountain in Linville, North Carolina. If the Grandfather Mountain doesn't ring a bell, then you may be familiar with Forrest Gump's famous cross-country marathon. It was right after he rounded the bend of the mountain when he ended up in Utah and realized that he had a crowd of people following him. The movie made a particular stretch of the mountain famous. And today, if you drive on US 211, you'll see a sign for the entrance of Forrest Gump Curve. It's a location on Google Maps and people often visit it to recreate the scene. The great views are just a plus. At number 5, we have Dirty Dancing, probably one of the most iconic dance movies of all time. Dirty Dancing was made to look like it was set in a posh resort with cabins all around it, complete with lake views and romantic gazebos. What a lot of people don't know is that the movie was filmed in two locations, Virginia and North Carolina. While the practice scene between Patrick Swayze and Jennifer Grey was filmed in Mountain Lake in Virginia, although both states claim it was their lake that was used, you can for sure see Baby practicing her dance moves in front of the stone staircase at Lake Learn, North Carolina, which is just outside of Asheville. At number 4, The Hunger Games. For those who grew up reading the dystopian series, you are for sure familiar with the world of Pan Am and saw its creation in the film adaptation. What you didn't know was that the entire first movie of the series was filmed in North Carolina. From the Capitol to District 12 to the Hunger Games Arena, the set designers of The Hunger Games utilized North Carolina's rural and urban areas to bring the story to life. Henry Mill River Village was the background for Katniss Everdeen's home in District 12. Originally abandoned after manufacturing collapsed in the mid-80s, it now stands as a 72-acre village that sat empty until it became the home of the citizens of District 12. While it is private property now, you can still drive through it via the Henry River Road, which is in a town called Hildebrand, an hour outside of Charlotte. While it may seem easy to build a village in the middle of North Carolina, was it the same for creating the space for an entire game arena? Fortunately, for the crew of The Hunger Games, the first this book series took place in an arena lush with beautiful forests and landscapes. Because of this, they were able to take advantage of the national parks such as the River Fork Reservoir and the DuPont State Forest. At number 3, there's Talladega Nights, The Ballad of Ricky Bobby. As the movie title would suggest, Talladega Nights did film at Talladega Super Speedway in Alabama, but not all of the racing scenes were filmed there. A majority of the movie was shot within North Carolina, and spent only one week at the Talladega Speedway, and spent the rest of the time filming the racing scenes at the Charlotte Motor Speedway, which is in Concord, North Carolina. Additionally, Ricky Bobby's mansion is actually a house in Cornelius, North Carolina, which is on Lake Norman. And, of course, if you saw the movie, this is the house in which Ricky hilariously says grace before his family attacks a meal of fast food at the dinner table. A quick fun fact about the Ricky Bobby Mansion that was featured in the movie is that it sold for $4 million in 2018 after being listed on Facebook. The five-bedroom, nine-bathroom home currently sits on 1.3 acres and was described by the company as Hollywood Glamour. While the buyer of the property was not disclosed, we can only hope that they're enjoying a family meal after giving thanks to tiny baby Jesus. Number 2, The Conjuring. While The Conjuring centers around a story of a family moving into a farmhouse in Rhode Island, this terrifying spectacle was filmed in North Carolina. The film went through multiple hoops and a few title changes before it was finally accepted for production and started filming in the beach town of Wilmington. The filming of this movie lasted for 38 days 
and shooting took place mostly in Wilmington or surrounding towns, such as Curie, North Carolina. They were able to utilize the University of North Carolina Wilmington for set scenes in The Conjuring as well. The cast and crew of the film took advantage of resources they had in North Carolina and went as far as seeking the advice of Professor Diana Posolka, a professor of religious studies at UNC Wilmington, and functioned as their chief religious consultant on the movie. Although the film was not occurring in the location of the supernatural happenings, that didn't stop the cast and crew from experiencing strange phenomenons on set. From actors having mysterious bruises to scratch marks showing on computer screens. The filming seemed to come with some supernatural challenges. Even when the original Perron family came to visit the set, they were incredibly unsettled by the likeness, and the mother even experienced an accident that broke her hip after one of her children predicted something unfortunate occurring on the day of shooting. And at number one, we have The Fugitive. If you're a fan of 90s action movies, then you for sure know about The Fugitive starring Harrison Ford. But did you know that this popular crime film was filmed right in North Carolina? While the film may have taken shots in multiple locations, Chicago and Tennessee to name a few, a majority of the film was actually recorded in Jackson County, North Carolina. One of the movie's most intense and dynamic scenes was filmed in the Carolina Smoky Mountains to be exact. The scene where Kimball's prison transport and freight train gets into a wreck was filmed in these mountains just outside of Dillsboro, North Carolina. Riders on the railroad excursion can even see the remnants of the wreck scene to this day. According to AtlasObscura.com, the reasoning for that is that the movie was made before CGI effects became standard in filmmaking, and instead of using miniatures, the filmmakers simply placed a full-sized bus in the path of an oncoming freight train and let physics do the rest. Another dynamic scene where Kimball initially makes his great escape was filmed in a hospital in Silva, North Carolina, at Harris Regional Hospital to be exact. So while you may think you need the Hollywood lights to film your perfect movie, that isn't true at all. This just goes to show that any location can become the background for a truly incredible film, especially in a state like NC that has mountains, beaches, and plains. Did you already know all these movies were filmed in North Carolina? Are you planning on watching any of them now? Let me know in the comments. And before you leave, don't forget to click the like button and subscribe to the channel.